If you're looking for reliable money drop services for GTA Online, look no further than Digizani, where they offer many, many services. Just be sure to use code JACO for 5% off at checkout. As the gaming industry grows and grows year by year, day by day, week by week, month by month, crossplay has become more and more apparent in almost every single AAA genre there is. Call of Duty does it, you know, tremendously. Fortnite, the Battle Royales. A lot of games and gaming industries are doing crossplay, and it has worked really swimmingly. A lot of people love it. I personally really, really like it. But for GTA Online, I really don't think it would work, and hear me out. What people do not know about crossplay is the first people that really perfected it was Fortnite, funnily enough. Epic Games released that code to the public for people to freely use as a template years and years ago, back in 2018, 2019. I don't have an article, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, because I do actually remember that, and that was pretty groundbreaking. That's how Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 was able to do it so easily, if you guys remember. That's how Battlefield was able to do it so easily. So, the reason I brought that up is that the coding and the technology Rockstar already has. They could literally just implement this code, get it to work. Yeah, it wouldn't be a day process, wouldn't be a week process, but they could easily get this to work with their resources and the coding and just stuff that they already have, the resources especially. And with all these, you have to sign into like a certain third party thing, like Epic. They make you make an Epic Games account so you can play with other Epic Games account players. That's how the crossplay works. In uh, Call of Duty, you make an Activision account, and that's how you play with other people. Now, in GTA Online, it's perfect because most of us already have Rockstar Games social clubs accounts that we could use for crossplay. But it's not going to work how we want it to work, like it works in Fortnite or Call of Duty. I personally think, and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, that console to console crossplay would work pretty damn well. Xbox to PlayStation or PlayStation to Xbox, but Sony's got kind of a stick up their ass about crossplay, especially with Microsoft and Xbox for some reason. Whether it's selfishness, stupidity, who the hell knows. I personally just think it's selfishness, I, I don't know, or ignorance. I, I don't know how they benefit from not working with these people. I personally do not know or understand that. So if you do know, let me know in the comments down below. If that if it makes any more sense to you or you can explain it better to other people, uh, do let me know. But I personally think that console to PC would be a terrible idea and that's obviously because of all the modding in GTA Online that occurs literally all the time. The GTA Online on PC is absolutely plagued with these modders dropping money, griefing, trolling, doing all sorts of just terrible shit. So most people, if you're on PC, go into private sessions or they get their own mod menu that they pay for themselves and then just protect themselves from those modders. But I mean, to go out of your way to take an online aspect and make it single player or you have to buy a third party application to protect yourself from these people that are constantly in the game is a bit ridiculous yeah sure there's modders and cheaters and shit like that and call of duty but you play against them once you leave the lobby and you join a new one and you forget about it you report them and they should get banned i don't know how the reporting system works in call of duty maybe it's good maybe it's bad let me know down below in the comments but we know from GTA Online that it is non-existent. I don't think it's been updated since 2013 when GTA Online first came out. So that in itself, reporting cheaters, just would not work. Now, obviously, if they were to make a cross-play update, they might take the time to make a new report system so it would actually work. But who the hell knows? I highly doubt that they would do cross-play to begin with anyways. And it's not that they're cheating or just griefing or trolling. Yeah, that sucks. And that happens in Call of Duty. That happens in Fortnite. There's going to be those cheaters or even those people just cheesing, you know. There's going to be those people that play the, quote, wrong way to make things easier for themselves. And that's always going to be a thing. And it's personally not something maybe you want to report people about. But hold on. Sorry. I digress. But... The security around these things, these mod menus can take IPs and could, you know, fry your routers and they could do so much can be done with just a simple IP address on the internet for free. Anyone, if you had an IP address, could boot you offline and can just do some really scary shit and it's, it's quite terrifying. Honestly, 
the security behind GTA Online is non-existent, and it is quite frightening to even load up GTA Online on PC without a VPN, without a mod menu, or to just join a public session to begin with. I talk about this all the time, because in gameplay, you see in the background here, I'm on PC, yes, but I'm in a private session, and I, if anyone were to join me, because you know I have my social club ID right there in the top left corner, if anyone were to join me, I would immediately alt F4 and close my game, because anyone can join me off my social club, whether or not I'm in a private session, solo session, it doesn't even matter, and if these things, these plagued, disgusting online game gameplay elements were brought to console, both consoles... GT Online would die on the spot that day. Unless, of course, they, you know, added a new report system, got rid of the cheaters, and which they could probably do. Rockstar, multi billion dollar company, Take Two Interactive, you know, their 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 father company, whatever, could easily implement the anti cheat and just get rid of the mod menus probably pretty damn quickly. But there's people buying the game over and over again because they get banned, or they're you know, buying shark cards still for some reason. I don't know. But that's pretty much why crossplay just wouldn't really work. It would not work from console to PC, though it could work from console to console. Considering we already have the social club implemented in place, you know, it would work. I personally think that it wouldn't be that hard of a process to do. I'm not a coding expert or a programmer or anything by any means, but a multi-billion dollar company with all the resources like Rockstar Games, they could definitely get this thing done pretty damn quickly. Honestly, within a month, I bet. But behind the gaming politics, I don't think it's Rockstar's fault. It's probably conflict between Sony and Microsoft, but I don't know. But let me know what you guys think down below about crossplay, or it shouldn't probably come to GTA 5 or GTA 5 Online. But if it were to happen to GTA 6 or another new Rockstar title that has online, do you guys think crossplay should be implemented? I personally think it should, at least to console to console, but maybe not console to PC quite yet until they get the issues resolved on the PC side of things with all the modders and cheaters. But that is going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe. Check out some more of my content here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.